we always want to drink beer out of a glass um, because beer has a sound to it, just like a taste, and beer is carbonated. And we need to release that carbonation into a glass. What beer foam can do in your belly? So when you go out, you might see a beer poured like this, where the server's only goal in the life is to not let any of that CO2 out of the beer. A couple things here. One, without that color of foam, it's not really a beer. Two, I decide I'm gonna order um, some nachos. And I take that first bite, and once it hits my belly, that happens. So there's about two and a half bottles of CO2 on this beer that weren't released in the glass. That's 100% what's going on in my stomach if the beer's not poured properly. Now you think, wow, every time I had beer, I get really bloated, and that's what's going on. Or you can get a beer and you pour it down the side with vigor, and you're breaking that CO2 out. And granted, people say that looks like a lot of foam, but foam always turns into beer. And then I take that same bite of food, and I try to have a swallow, and it's not agitating my stomach because I have broken that CO2 out in the glass. So that's how important it is to pour beer into a glass. In this foam is where we're gonna taste the, the sweetness of the malt and the bitterness of the hops, but really it's gonna protect the integrity of that aroma that's underneath the foam through each sip. Mm -hmm.